When I got my diagnosis, I was devastated. I was in a relationship. I was like, I want to be able to have kids. Like, there's a possibility I might have to have a hysterectomy at 22. When I got in, she had what's called a cervical fibroid, which we thought she might have, but it was much worse than I could have ever anticipated. Well, Dr. Fewer, I was scared at first whenever I heard that he did robotic surgery. I was thinking, I've never heard of that. I realized I do a procedure for cervical cancer called a radical trachelectomy. And I felt that maybe by using the techniques in that procedure, I might be able to save her uterus. He saved all of my organs, and that's saying a lot when that doesn't normally happen. People looked at me and they told me they looked like I hadn't, I hadn't had surgery. They were like, you don't look like someone who just had surgery. I was like, I know, he's that good. <laughs> Our minimally invasive surgery program at Northside Hospital has a unique history and a bright trajectory for the future. Our surgeons here at Northside that are still here today were pioneers of minimally invasive surgery, starting with the laparoscopic techniques and advancing to robotic techniques in 2005. Northside Hospital has been in the forefront of minimally invasive surgery in urology. Many procedures that is done today started at Northside Hospital doing it in minimally invasive surgery. The only problem was application of minimally invasive surgery in oncology was a slow. So in the beginning when Dr. Fuhr was trained, no one was really doing GYN oncology procedures. He was one of the first in the country. So where could he go to observe a case? So there was no simulation to be offered to him. So he and I would sit in the OR and we'd practice. Ultimately down the road, he became one of our epicenter surgeons and now has been training GYN oncologists and benign GYNs since he started his program. The robots that we use here for the minimally invasive surgery, the intuitive robots, they cut down on blood loss, length of stay, have better uh, visual with the 10 times magnification as well as the 3D viewing. You have the tremor control from the console, so everything is very precise. And the instruments are used as if they are the surgeon's hands themselves. For me and many other people, it makes us so much more adept across the wristed movements. And the same thing, some people have a harder time with that 2D, 3D with robotics because you don't have to, to do that, that change from the 2D to 3D imaging. It makes the surgery a lot easier to do. A lot of advancement that you see in minimal invasive surgery and robotic is due to the receptivity of Northside Hospital allowing the engineers, the scientists, come here, observe, learn, and develop new technology and instrumentation. So at Northside, we are bought into robotic surgery and minimally invasive surgery. And the reason why is because we see the outcomes improved for our patients. We see our patients have less pain. We see our patients have less bleeding. And because of that, our patients get to go home quicker and recover in their homes. Northside supported robotics, of course, financially, because they understood that cutting edge technology was something we needed to do for our surgeons and our patients, and they provided better patient outcomes. Northside supported the immense training of our staff that went along with it, and also supported lots of visiting surgeons who came to watch our surgeons. So Northside has been an amazing partner on my journey for robotics. I got started and uh, they anticipated some increased volume and they got the brand new robot right away. And every time a new robot came out, I was one of the first in the country to get it. Basically, I think Northside did whatever it had to do to make us a first-class program. In the early years, initial robots, besides being here, they were at university teaching hospitals. And we wanted to make sure we had the same caliber program or better. And we have. Today, 90% of Dr. Fura's patients receive robotic surgery. And to date, he's done over 4,000 cases. Sometimes it uh, eludes me, but really there are 4,000 people that I've operated on. That's an amazing thing to, to believe that I may have had a positive effect on all their lives. 
it is good to have a happy ending. And I don't know if that would have happened without Dr. Fewer doing his surgeries on me.